Welcome back mga future criminologists. So for today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin ang nakapaloob sa Revised Penal Code, Article 12 o tinatawag natin Exenting Circumstances. Pero bago natin pag-usapan yan, huwag nyo pong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated po kayo sa ating mami. nakasaad sa Article 12 o tinatawag natin Exempting Circumstances. Kapag sinabi pong Exempting Circumstances, those were in there is an absent in the agent of the crime and of the condition that would make an act voluntarily or negligent one who acts by virtue of any of the Exempting Circumstances commit a crime but because of the absent of the condition which constitute free will or voluntariness of the act. No criminal liability arise, there is. However, there is an civil liability. Okay, kapag sinabi pong uh, exempting circumstances, ikaw po ay walang criminal liability. Pero meron ka pong tinatawag na civil liability. Bakit po sir? Ang kilos ng tao ay hindi naaayon sa batas, ngunit ang kanyang kawalan ng kaalaman, kakayahan at intensyon sa kanyang ginagawang krimen ang magbibigay exemption sa kanya. Ito ay ang mga sumusunod. The following are the exempted from criminal liability. 1. An imbecile or an insane person unless the latter has acted during a lucid interval. Okay, sir, ano po ba yung insanity? Pag sinabi pong insanity, exists when there is complete deprivation of intelligent, mere abnormality of the mental faculties will not exclude imputability. Sir, ano naman po yung imbecility? Pag sinabi pong imbecility, exists when a person of advanced age has the mental development comparable to that of a child between 2 and 7 years of age. Ibig sabihin po niyan, Kapag daw po ang imbecile at insane person ay nakagawa ng uh, krimen, they are exempted from criminal liability unless they acted during lucid interval. Sir, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng imbecile? Kapag sinabi pong imbecile, may kakulangan sa pag-iisip o tinatawag natin isip bata. E sir, ano naman po yung insane? Kapag sinabi pong insane, meron po silang sakit sa pag Iisip. Eh sir, ano naman po yung tinatawag natin lucid interval? Kapag sinabi pong lucid interval, ito yung time na kung saan bumalik yung kanilang uh, tamang pag-iisip. An insane person is not exempt if it can be shown that he acted during a lucid interval. But an imbecile is exempt in all cases from criminal liability. Kapag naman po uh, ang isang baliw ay bumalik sa kanyang tamang pag-iisip at nagawa po siya ng mali o krimen, uh, hindi po siya exempted sa uh, criminal liability. Pero yung imbecile po, in all aspect or in all case, kapag bumalik po yung tamang pag-iisip nila, uh, is they are still uh, exempted from criminal liability. Two, a person under nine years of age. Okay, dito naman po sa number two, may tinatawag po na exempted ang sino mang batang 9 years old pababa na gumawa ng isang krimen. They are uh, not responsible in all aspect. Sila yung tinatawag nating imputability o sila yung gumawa ng krimen. E sino naman po yung tinatawag nating responsibility? Kapag sinabi pong responsibility o responsible sa ginawa ng bata o which is yung imputability, ay tatawagin natin magulang. Sila yung magbabayad sa ginawa ng taong gumawa ng krimen, which is yung 9 years old pababa. Sir, sino po ba yung merong full responsibility, may partial responsibility, at totally uh, absolute irresponsibility sa ginawang krimen? Kapag sinabi po full responsibility, ito po yung mga 18 years old up to 70 years old. E sino, e sino naman po sir yung uh, partial responsibility? Tatawagin naman natin itong over 15 but under 18 years of age. Eh sir, sino naman po yung totally, absolutely irresponsibility o wala talagang uh, pananagutan. Ito naman ay tatawagin natin 9 years old and below. 3. A person under 9 years old and under 15 years old under Republic Act 9344 o tinatawag natin Juvenile Justice Welfare Act. Dito naman po sa number 
kapag daw po ang batang 9 years old or under 15 years old ay nakagawa ng krimen under Republic Act 9344 ay kinakailangan nila pumasok sa interventional and diversional program which is exempted sila sa batas pero kailangan nilang pumasok doon. Sir, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng uh, intervention at diversion? Kapag sinabi pong intervention for child at risk while diversion program for child in conflict with the law. Paano po ba natin masasabi na child at risk at child in conflict with the law ang isang bata? Kapag kapag sinabing child at risk It refers to a child who is vulnerable to and at the risk of committing criminal offenses. While child in conflict with the law refers to a child who is alleged as accused of or adjudged as having committed an offense under the Philippine laws. Number four, any person over 15 years old and under 18 years old unless he acted with discernment under Republic Act 9344. Naman po sa number 4, uh, over 15 years old and under 18 years old ay nakagawa sila ng isang krimen na kung saan ay may exam sila kapag wala silang uh, discernment during ginawa nila yung kanilang krimen. Sir, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng discernment? Kapag sinabi pong discernment, ito po ay isang kakayahan ng tao na mag-isip ng tama o mali. Pero pag nag-acted po sila, if they acted uh, discernment, o if they acted uh, with discernment, uh, magkakaroon po sila ng tinatawag na criminal liability. Okay, number 5 naman po, any person who while performing a low pull up with your care cause an injury by mere accident without fault or intention of causing it. Ito po sa number 5, kapag daw po ang isang tao na nagpe-perform ng kanyang duty, at nakagawa ng isang uh, bagay na nagdulot ng uh, injury sa ibang tao ng aksidente at hindi niya sinasadya o wala siyang intensyon na gawin yun, ay may exempt po siya sa uh, batas natin. At mapapasok po siya sa tinatawag nating exempting circumstances. Number six, any person who acts under the compulsion of an irresistible force tayo sa number 6. Kapag sinabi naman pong under the compassion of irresistible force na kung saan uh, pinipersa siya ng tao na gawin yung isang bagay na physical sa ibang tao na labag po sa kanyang kalooban. Which is, uh, hindi niya kagustuhan na gawin yun, pero dahil meron taong nag-uudyok sa kanya na gawin yun, that's the time na may exempt po siya sa criminal liability. Seven, any person who act under the impulse of uncontrollable fear of an equal or greater injury. Ito tayo sa number 7. Kapag sinabi naman pong person under the uncontrollable fear na kung saan tinatakot po siya para gawin po yung isang bagay na yon, for example, hawak po buhay ng pamilya mo. Kung hindi mo papatayin yung taong pinapapatay ko sa inyo, ang gagawin ko sa pamilya mo ay papatayin ko rin. It's the time na may exam po siya sa criminal liability. But there is a civil liability. Number eight naman po, any person who fails to perform an act required by law when prevented by some lawful or an insuperable cause. Ito tayo sa number eight. Na kung saan, sabi dito, any person who fails to perform an act required by the law when some uh, preventive lawful or insuperable cause na kung saan uh, hindi niya nagawa yung kanyang tungkulin for example, isa akong police officer na kung saan uh, meron akong inaaresto sa pagkaaresto ko sa kanya nakapunta kami sa uh, island na kung saan uh, sa paghahabol ko sa kanya na stuck kami doon at kinakailangan ko siyang mahihatid sa presinto within uh, 12 hours which is a uh, light Offense, di ba? Sa light of sa na-stack kami doon at hindi ko siya maihatid agad sa presinto, that's the time na may exempt po ko sa uh, criminal liability. Kasi hindi namin inaasahan na uh, hindi kami makapunta sa tamang presinto due to uh, lack of uh, boat or anything na magagamit namin para makatawid kami papunta sa ibang uh, lugar na kung saan uh, maihatid ko na siya sa presinto.
for watching this video guys. I hope may natutunan na naman po kayo ngayong araw. At please, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe at click ang notification bell para updated po kayo sa aking mga video. And please, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na i-like ang St. Clair Review Center, number 1 review center sa Tugigaraw at top 3 national board examination last November 2019.